something we want to cover quite a bit. Okay, so we're going to do function arguments. We're going to do um, calling other functions within a, a function, and also we're going to do recursive functions. Now, because we're going to have to cover quite a bit, what I suggest I do is I write the code first, and then I go through it with you, and then we we compile it and we see how it runs, and then we understand exactly um, how the code works. Okay, so I'm just going to type the code quickly, and then we'll we'll go through it step by step. Okay, so I've wrote the code out. Um, like we always start, we start with the include stdio, so we can use the functions uh, printf and so on. Uh, now we're declaring um, the first function prototypes that we're going to be using in in the program. The first one is called display. Second is square and cube. We've done square before and cube, but now we're doing it uh, with uh, function arguments which means that we're actually placing values within these um, brackets here okay and here we've we've got uh, we're actually declaring a variable within uh, those brackets within the function uh, which is a character now it, we, we put void here because display itself if we call display it, it won't actually hold, um, you know, have a value. It won't return a value of of character or integer. However, inside those brackets, we will carry a character. Okay, we will carry a, a variable called um, called string, str, and that will be a character type. And and here we've got square, and inside the square, we're actually um, calling a a, a um, an integer value here, okay? An integer value which is going to be x, and cube is going to be y. Now we define the main function. So we define each function now. So we main is here. Uh, we've got the display. We're defining that here. We're defining square here, and cube just there, okay? And I've got these comments for you as well, so which gives you a hint what what's actually happening as well. Right. So in the, in the main function, we declare a, a variable of 50 characters. It's called msg, which is message, and the message it's holding, this string gets passed to a function. Okay. So we're going to pass this into the function, which has the which will hold msg. So in here we're declaring an integer, a variable called num, like we did in the previous example, and that will also um, be passed a value later on. So the first function we're calling now is display, and like we've said here, it's going to hold a character, uh, an str, and here is what it's going to be holding. We're, we're passing that value here into there, into that. Okay. So we're putting that here. So now inside display, it would hold this message. This message get passed to a function. So we're passing this into that. Okay. And here we're saying num, which we've declared here as a variable. That's going to hold square, and we're put it, we're passing four the number four inside this integer value x. Okay. So now square is going to hold the number, or x is going to be passed the number four. And all that is going to be inserted into the num variable. Okay, so you've got that bit. Now, what we're going to do? We're going to print the output, and we, first thing we're going to print is four by four because we've got number four here, and it's going to be a, a, a percent d because it's going to pass an, an integer value, and we're we're carrying it from the num. So this is the result of squaring four. Okay. So that should print the result here, and uh, now we we do another printf and four by four by four des uh, percent d. We haven't actually passed the four here, but we're passing it just here. Okay, so we put four as the value that goes into y here, the the integer variable y. So cube now is doing that number. We could have placed a different number. We could have placed five. Okay, let's just do that quickly. And we put 5 by 5 
by 5 it could be any any value okay in here and it will automatically cube it for us okay so that's uh, the main function out of the way now we're defining we've declared the display function up here now we're going to define it okay so here we're, we're saying that it's going to hold a char value like we set up there we just we have to do it here to define it now and now all this this is going to do is going to say printf hello and it's going to be a string uh, value which, which is why we have a percent s and it's going to pass str which is basically that there and that is holding the msg okay but it, we, we're, we're just holding that for now str which is what we've called here okay so now uh, we've got we declare we finished with the display function now we're defining the square square is very simply uh, x times x okay so we multiply x by x and we've given x as 4 here so therefore 4 times 4 and that will get returned that that word return returns the result of, of what happens inside here or the number in there to this okay to the, to the thing in between the brackets so that will give it the value 16 straight away okay uh, we've got here we're declaring the cube and cube does exactly the same as the square but this time with the defined uh, with the declared variable y so we've got the number 5 we said 5 times 5 times 5 which we did for the previous example so it gives us 125 and that would be re returned into there okay so let's see that working now okay I've called it a function argument arg oh, let's do that function and then a arg that's what I've called it okay compiled it and oops I've spelt it wrong probably yep I missed it and f u n c function a arg and it says hello this string gets passed to a function like we've done here str which is there and we've got that here now so it says that and it says 4 times 4 is 16 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64 I probably didn't compile it so let me just compile it this is probably when we had 4 here so let's just compile this build and let's see the result now see see if we actually changed to the 5 or not so we will do it, run it again this time it actually says hello this string gets passed to a function 4 times 4 is 16 5 times 5 times 5 is 125 the reason it done 4 times 4 times 4 is because I actually compiled it before I changed the numbers here and it brought this but it, it gives you a, an idea of what actually happens as well so we could have placed any number here and it puts the result there now I'm going to end this lesson because now it's going up to, to almost 10 minutes and then I'm going to move on to um, calling other functions within a function that means basically like if we had display here we're, we're defining this function here and then that would call somehow in here square or cube or whatever and or vice versa okay so we, we've got functions within functions basically that, that's what that's what's going to be next lesson after this okay so look forward to seeing you in that lesson